In this video, I'm going to show you how to make really cool stop motion videos like this in Adobe Premiere Pro. The first thing you want to do after opening Premiere Pro is starting a new project by clicking here. Create a name for your project and tell the software where you want this project to be saved. I'm going to call this project Stop Motion YouTube. Once you're done, click OK to open the project. You should get to a screen that looks something like this. Before you import any of the photos you took for your stop motion, you should change some settings so it becomes easy to edit on later. Click on Premiere Pro at the top left and then on Preferences and then on Timeline. This should open up a window that looks something like this. Make sure you change these settings. The most important one is the third one. This tells the software how long each frame should play for when you import them into Premiere Pro. Make sure it's set to 0.1 seconds. Now you might be wondering, won't that mean that my stop motion will play at 10 frames per second? Well this is true, but if you set this at 0.1, it makes changing the frame rate to any speed much easier later. The next thing you're going to want to do is click on Media. Make sure the top setting is at 30 frames per second, then click OK. This will save your settings. The final setting that you should change is under File, Project Settings, and then General. Make sure to set the display format to time code instead of frames, because this will make it much simpler to understand the frame rate of your video in the end. OK, so now that all the settings are done, I can explain to you what all these different sections are for on Premiere Pro. The big window at the top right is where you see the preview of your video. The one right below that is the timeline. This is where you can move different clips around to create the video. And finally, the window to the left is where you do most of the editing and also importing files. Now to start, open up the folder with all the stop motion images you took. Select all the photos you want in your stop motion. Make sure that they are in order and drag them into the window on the left. I'm only using 34 photos to make this tutorial simpler but I would recommend using more so your stop motion is not so short. OK, now that all the images are in Premiere Pro, you can put them into the timeline. Make sure you click the top one first and then shift click the last one so the images stay in the correct order. Once you put them in the timeline, you will see that all the photos have a duration of one tenth of a second. This is because of the settings we changed in the start of this video. You can adjust the scale of the timeline so that you can see the images better by pinching on a trackpad or moving the slider at the bottom of the window. As you can see, 10 images make up one second on the timeline. This means that the video will play at 10 frames per second. You can click spacebar to play the video in the preview window, but it usually won't work because the sequence hasn't been rendered yet. To change this, go up to the sequence and click Render In to Out. Premiere Pro tells you if the video will play smoothly by showing a color above the part of the video. As the video renders, you can see that the yellow line is turning into a green line, indicating that the part of the video will play smoothly. When your computer is done rendering it, click Spacebar and watch it. You most likely want the stop motion to play faster than 10 frames per second. So in this next bit, I will show you how to do this. Click on the Timeline window and then click Command A to select all the photos. Then go up to Clip and press the Nest button. Give it a name and click OK. You should see that a green bar has appeared where the images were. What Premiere Pro has done is turned all the images into a single sequence, much like a video. The reason why you want to make a nest is so that you can change the speed of all the images instead of changing each one by one. Right click on the nest and scroll down to speed slash duration. Now you should see a little window open up with a number saying 100%. This is the number that you want to change for a higher frame rate. For example, I can change the stop motion to 15 frames per second by changing 100% to 150%. Click OK and then you will see the nest has shortened. What has happened is instead of the nest playing 10 photos per second, it's now showing 15. Render the video and watch it again. As you can see, the stop motion looks smoother and faster.
You can make it even faster if you wanted to. The maximum I would recommend is 24 frames per second. To do this, change the speed again from 150% to 240%. Render it again, and as you can see, it's even faster. Change the percent number until you like the way your stop motion looks. Sometimes when you import your stop motion into Premiere Pro, it doesn't fit properly into the video. To make sure that it is set right, go over to the window on the left and slide between the different tabs until you see Effects Control. To change the size of the stop motion, change the number under Scale. That looks about right. Once you're happy with how it looks, you can do the final step which is rendering the final video. Go up to File, then Export, and Media. This should open up a window that looks like this. As you can see, it looks like my stop motion does not perfectly fit into the frame of the video. You can change this by using a different preset or adjusting the source scaling. Either way works. Next, click on the output name, change the name and location of your video. Click OK and then Export and your computer will start making the video for you. Once it is done, you can go to where you saved your video and watch it fully completed. That is the end of this tutorial. If you have any further questions, leave a comment down below. I usually respond to most comments. I hope you found this video helpful. Like and subscribe or watch another video.